Lick 27, Walkin', uses blues licks over a walking bass line to resolve from E to D to A. Let's check it out. One, two, three, four. So this lick is going from E7 to D7 to A, and it's doing it with a walking bass line. Now that means that the thumb is still gonna be playing a steady bass, but the left hand notes are going to be changing. So for the E chord, we're going to play open E, and then second fret, third fret, fourth fret. Now the bass line for the D chord is almost the same. It starts on the open fourth string, and then it goes to second fret on the low string, third fret, fourth fret, and then resolves to A. So E7 to D7 to A, that's five to four to one in the key of A. So now we have these licks that happen on top of the bass line. So let's look at how to coordinate all that. Over the E, we have this. And so what's happening is on the first beat, we have a hammer on. We're going to pinch the sixth string and the third string, the open third string, and then hammer on to the first fret. And then on the end of one, we're going to go to the second string. Now on beat two, we're going to go to the second fret in the bass, and the melody notes are both open strings. So we do a pinch, low string, high string, and then go to the open second string. Now on the third beat, we're going to go to the third fret on the low string and the third fret on the second string. And we're going to pinch and then play the high string on the end of three. And then on the fourth beat, all we have to do is play the fourth fret on the low string. So. So even though it sounds complicated, you're only really having to hold down two fingers at the most while you do this. Now when we get to the D chord, we have this lick on top. So now to coordinate that with the D bass line, we have this. First we start with the pinch, fourth string, and first fret on the second string and then go to the open second string on the end of one. And now we go to second fret on the low string, second fret on the third string and pinch, and then go to the open second string. Now we shift and go third fret on the low string, second fret on the third string, pinch, and then open third string. And then we go to fourth fret on the low string, second fret on the fourth string and pinch and then play the open third string and hammer on to the second fret and that is anticipating the a chord and then we go and play here so it's a set of moves one two three So just like on the E chord, at any one time, you're only holding down two notes at a time. So if you take it step by step, you should be able to put it all together. Here's what it sounds like when you do put it all together. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. 